Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel Bytes tutorial. Today we're going to take a look at how we can extract a list of results based on a criteria that has multiple results and have those results appear in one cell separated by commas in Excel. But before we jump into that, please take a minute to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure you hit the bell icon so you will get a notice whenever I put out a new video. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also find me at any of the social media sites you see here. So now, let's check out today's topic. So here's our scenario. Here I have a table, and the table, if we look up here, it's called Classes. And it has two columns, Students and Languages. And what I want to do is create a little table here with the student's name and the languages that they are proficient in, but have those in one cell separated by commas. So the first thing I want to do is get a unique list of the students. So in cell D4, I'm going to enter equals unique, and then I'll select my list of students here, close my parentheses, hit enter and you can see the formula there and it just gave me the list of just the four students. Now the unique function is only available in Microsoft 365. Now for the languages we're going to use the filter function and I'll say equals filter. My array is going to be the list of languages comma it will include the students that equal whatever student is in column D. I'll close my parentheses, hit enter. Now the filter function, again, only available in Microsoft 365, has the dynamic array option that will spill the results when you have multiple results of your formula. So in this case, for Terry, he is proficient in French and Italian, but I want those to be in the one cell, cell E4, separated by a comma. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this formula in the text join function, which again is only available in Microsoft 365. Now the first argument is delimiter, and we're going to use a comma space, but you need to include that within a pair of double quotes. So I'll put double quotes, comma, space, double quote, then comma, my second argument, whether I want to ignore empty cells, I'll just hit tab for true, comma. The text is the result of the filter function. So now all I need to do is close my parentheses, hit enter, and you can see now Terry has two languages, French and Italian, in one cell separated by a comma. And if I copy that formula down, it will now list the languages for each of the four students in one cell separated by a comma. And again, it's the filter function wrapped in a text join function that allows us to create this. And that's how you can do that in Excel. So thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so to any of the social networks you see here. Thanks a lot. Have a great day and happy Excelling.